there. So I wanted to make a video for the days where you don't feel like doing anything, but you feel like you need to get into your body or for the day where you are going to be doing some activity, but you need a little bit extra motivation to get that going. This is my favorite thing to do when that happens. You will need a prop, but it's something you have around the house, I promise. If you have a yoga strap, that is what we would use typically in a yoga studio or like a karate belt, something like that. But there's so many other things that I grabbed around the house that will definitely work. A regular belt will work. A belt of a robe is perfect because it's nice and flimsy and stretchy. You could even use a t-shirt. So put me on pause if you need to grab one of those things, just one, you don't need all of them whatever one's the easiest. Um, I think I'll demo with a t-shirt today just to show you that uh, it's really easy to use. So have your um, prop next to you, whatever you decided to use, come down onto your back. And let's just start by lying down for a moment. So if we're not feeling like doing anything right now, sometimes it's nice to just take a pause and lean into that emotion, that feeling and give ourself some stillness. So close the eyes. Start to soften the breath and slow it down. Let the be body let the body be heavy for a moment. So the ankles and feet are relaxed, hands are relaxed. And now start to stretch the arms overhead. Stretch the feet away from you, get nice and long. The whole, think about the sides of the legs, sides of the torso, arms, getting nice and long. And then you'll bring the right knee in toward the chest. And you'll grab your t-shirt, your belt, whatever you have, and you'll loop it around the sole of the right foot. Once you have it, extend the right leg up. Now, you have a couple options here. We're trying to open up the backside of this right leg. So when you do that, we're all going to be different in how straight this leg is, especially considering the amount of activity we do with our bodies. So you might feel more of a stretch if you bend the leg a little bit. So play with that. Take a moment to put a bend in the leg or start to straighten the leg a little bit more and then see where do you feel like a nice opening is starting to happen? And a nice opening means no pulling, just gentle stretching. Then with the foot up like this and the leg up like this, we're reversing the blood flow. So the instead of the, the blood constantly going down toward the feet when we're standing and sitting, we're taking it from the feet and bringing it up the leg. That's also something that kind of gives us energy. And then two options with the hands. You could choke up on the strap or the t-shirt, whatever you're using, and reach more toward the foot. Some people find it more comfortable that way. Some people will slide the hands all the way back. If whatever you're using is long enough, you might be able to get the elbows down to the mat and so that you rest the arms. Then maybe notice how things have started to shift within the body. Maybe you're feeling that stretch, which is encouraging you to take it to the next step. So from here, grab both ends of the strap, the t-shirt with the right hand. Bring the left arm out to the side. And then you're not gonna move the leg, you're just gonna turn the toes out to the right. So the heel's still over the hip, toes are turned out to the right. So you're rotating the hip a little bit. Now you can move the leg out to the right, any amount that feels good in your body. But keep that left hip on the ground so it wants to lift if you go too far. And then you can even rest the elbow, the right elbow on the ground as like a little bit of a kickstand. And we're all working with like a different length of material. So just adjust until it feels comfortable. If you're having a hard time keeping the left foot or the left hip down on the ground, you could always bring the right leg back in a little bit more. So find where you still get that opening. And then there's like a nice spreading of the pelvis, the top of the pelvis. Left arm reaching out to the side also helps keep that left hip down. 
and you're pressing out through both heels, but try not to lock either knee. So you're not pressing the knees back. Feeling that lengthening of the inner thigh on the right side. Then slowly start to bring the right leg back up to where we started. Take your time. And switch hands again. So this time you'll grab the both ends of the strap or the t-shirt with the left hand. Right arm comes out to the side. Now this time we're only going to come over a few inches. So the right foot crosses over the body just a few inches. And what we're looking for, the IT band is on the outer edge of the right leg. Notice where you start to feel a little bit of opening there. You don't have to go that far. So it's just a small range of motion. Once you find that spot where you feel like you're getting a nice little bit of an opening, it's just, it's really subtle. It's not anything that is a deep sensation. You stay here. Right arm still reaching out to the side. Left leg is extended out in front of you. Come back to center, grab both ends of the strap, and now loop the sole of the left foot into it. Extend the right leg out in front of you. So that right leg should feel pretty long after all that stretching. Now you play with the left leg to see where the bend needs to be. That feels good in your body. So we're constantly getting messages and information from our body, but most of the time it's hard it's such an easy thing to ignore that we just don't listen now is a time to come into your body to check in to see how it's doing see what it needs and give it what it needs in the moment Grab both ends of the strap or t-shirt with the left hand. Right arm comes out to the side. Before you let the left leg go out to the side, turn the toes to the left. Now start to open up the leg, keeping the right hip down on the mat. Use the elbow as a kickstand if you want to, depending on where the leg ends up. right thigh is pressing down toward the mat. Slowly start to bring that left leg back up to center and you'll switch hands. Grab the ends of the strap with the right hand. Left arm comes out to the side. This time we're just crossing that left foot over a few inches, maybe a foot. Play with that small range of motion to see where the outside of the right leg starts to turn on, starts to open a little bit. And you may not feel anything at all. Some of you feel something without, with barely moving the leg. And then most of us are probably in between.
bring it back to center. Set the strap off to the side. Hug the knees in toward the chest, and you can just rock side to side. Then you'll roll over onto one side, coming up to seated. Once you come to seated, let's come to hands and knees. So you're what we call tabletop. And then we'll do a few rounds of cat-cow breath to warm up the spine. So on an inhale, bring the heart forward. On the exhale, round the spine. Push the mat away from you. A few more times on your own. Inhaling forward, just slow movement with the breath. Exhale, round. Last one. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Come back to tabletop, neutral spine. Step the right foot forward. So you're in a low lunge. Now, you can stretch that left leg back behind you a little bit. Hands can stay down on the ground, or you can start to walk the hands up onto this front thigh. If you're feeling any pressure in the left knee, put something under it, blanket, towel, something to pad the knee, a rug. And then start to reach the arms all the way up. Grab this left wrist with the right hand and lift the left wrist up and over to the right. So you get a nice side stretch on this whole left side of the body. Point the chest forward. Dig down into that right heel like you're scissoring the inner thighs together. Then you'll come back to center. Bring the hands back down to the mat. Bring the right knee underneath you, coming back to all fours. Step the left foot forward. Finding that low lunge, stretch the right toes back behind you so you can get above the right kneecap, just on that thigh there. You'll walk the hands up to the left thigh maybe. Hands can stay down on the ground if that's more comfortable. Kind of pushing the thigh forward a little bit, lifting the chest away from the hips. Now you'll reach the arms out wide to the side all the way up. Grab the right wrist with the index finger and the thumb. Pull it up and over to the left. Dig into that left heel like you're going to slide it back. Lifting the lower belly. Feeling a nice stretch in the hole from the right quad all the way up through the right fingertips. Come back to center, reaching the arms up. Bring the hands back down to the mat. Bring the left knee back underneath you. You're back in tabletop. Sit back onto the heels, coming to kneeling. And you're done. So now you can go on with the rest of your day. You could go into the next activity. Or you could do one of the other classes that are on here. That are I, we have, There's a vinyasa flow class that you could do. Or you could do a yin class if you're looking to take things down and relax a little bit more. Hope this helped. Thank you so much. Namaste.